Hi! In this video I'll talk about what you can do to prepare for your first time. My name is Atya. I was born in Germany to Pakistani parents and two years ago I moved to the Netherlands for almost three now. Uh, my husband is the only man I ever had sex with, so I know how you feel. I know um, how nervous that can make you. Um, and I didn't know what to expect and I didn't know where to look and where to get proper information. And every video I watched it was more like a personal story what happened to them and it wasn't really a preparation of what can you actually do to prepare. Um, I'm sure you learned about sex and sex education or probably on the internet. Um, but the most important thing for your first time is that you relax about it. So if you make yourself crazy in your head it's going to lead to nowhere. For men it's going to be difficult to get an erection. For women it's going to be difficult um, to not have pain. So if you relax about it, I know it's really <laughs> easier said than done, but if you do that it's going to make everything so much better. And the first time only happens once and you're going to remember it and you should be enjoying yourself and should be in the moment and not thinking um, about all the horror scenarios that you can imagine. So just try to relax, try to just enjoy yourself, get out of your headspace and just in like a nice sensual romantic space. Um, most of the times we have a lot of ideas in our head like uh, is it going to hurt, Is it? Uh, am I going to perform well as a man, um, do I look good, do I look attractive enough, um, all of these things are in the actual moment when it's happening they are completely irrelevant and no one ever thinks that or should think that because in the moment it's just happening. So. Making yourself crazy up front is just going to make you nervous and um, make you tense in the moment and that's counterproductive to what you're trying to achieve. You want to be relaxed. So I know it's difficult because you're going to be naked for the first time in front of your partner but you need to realize that they are in the same position as you are. So you are seeing them naked for the first time as well. and you should be with someone that you trust. So you can trust them to treat you kindly. So, and you are going to treat them kindly. So that's why you shouldn't be worried about this. It's going to be fine. Um, and one big thing is don't try to put a date on it. Don't be like, this is my wedding night or this is a date or I don't know any other set point that you think it needs to be achieved by this date or this is the big romantic night that is going to happen because I can promise you it's not going to happen in that night because you're going to be putting too many expectations and too much craziness inside of it and too many things like there needs to be flower petals and smells and <laughs> this and that and it's not important. None of that is important. You just need to be with your partner and concentrate on your partner and that's the only thing that matters and if you try to put a date on it then you're putting pressure on it you're thinking to yourself okay it needs to happen and then you're building it up hour by hour minute by minute you're like okay it's coming on did I prepare anything did I put everything there you're making yourself insane for no reason so don't do that <laughs> um, just give yourself the freedom to learn about this. So it is possible that you try to have sex with your partner and it doesn't happen that night. It's possible that you try and you try again. Don't get frustrated, just stop. <laughs> just stop, just relax, just kiss each other, maybe just fall asleep. It's fine. There are many, 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 many people who've been in the same situation and that's why you need to stop pressuring yourself and just be in the moment, just enjoy the other person. Um, what can give you peace of mind and relaxation is not just to have your, a room that you can lock or where you can be alone, but also put your phone off. 
it seems really obvious, <laughs> but it's something that we forget in our daily lives quite often. So just put your phone off, no one can disturb you. Take it slow, take your time, talk to each other, compliment each other, laugh about little mishaps that happen, and like make a nice, comfortable atmosphere that it's okay that if something doesn't go completely smooth. Um, and the longer you take with kissing each other, touching each other, everything that comes into foreplay, the better your whole experience is going to be. Um, you have to keep in mind that for a man who has sex for the first time, he cannot hold it very long. So the sex itself, the act of, of having sex, is going to be over very quickly. So probably. <laughs> so that's why you should take more time in spending with your partner and enjoying them and touching them. Because that's also what you're going to remember afterwards the most. Um, as a man, if you're having trouble of getting an erection, don't worry about it. It's fine. You're not the first person who this is happening to. And don't worry about it. Just relax, just kiss, hug, touch, fall asleep, cuddle each other. And probably by the next day when you wake up, the problem will be resolved. So don't worry about it. Nothing's wrong with you. Um, for me, before I had the first time, a big question was, is it going to hurt? So that was like a big myth that was around everywhere and that I was worried about. So for some women it hurts, for some it doesn't. A big thing that plays into mind for women that it hurts the first time and then never after is just this worry. Because the hymen, when it breaks, it cannot hurt. The hymen has no nerve endings. It cannot hurt. The thing that is hurting you is the muscle tissue around it. Because you are so worried, you're making yourself so crazy that you're like tensing it up. And try rubbing something on a tense muscle. It hurts. <laughs> so that's what you're doing to yourself. So be kind to yourself. Don't do that. Don't make yourself crazy. It's completely in your, hand, in your own hands. So the hymen cannot be broken. It is rubbed off. So it's also possible that you have sex several times and you still have hymen. So don't connect this whole the hymen and virginity to each other. They have nothing to do with each other. It's also possible that a woman has sex for the first time and she never had a hymen. So how are you going to prove it? It's not possible. Virginity and the hymen don't fit. Um, if you want to have some peace of mind, then maybe you should have some towels or some wet wipes in your vicinity. Um, you should, if you're going to use condoms, you should try and um, practice how to open and how to use a condom and find the right size. Um, you should have lubricant with you um, because it's, it's a good help, um, especially if you're nervous and uh, it's the first time and you don't know what you're doing and everything is crazy. So the lubricant is going to help to make it more comfortable for her immediately without any need for experience on your side. In the end I just want to say that don't aim for perfection. <laughs> this is the first try at something that you're going to do for the rest of your life. So you have enough time to learn about it, to experience it, to try things and to get better at it. So don't expect it to be amazing and picture perfect and it's not going to be like this. The first times are always clumsy. Everyone has a clumsy first time and everyone remembers it with fondness that it was clumsy and it was the first time. And that's just how it is. And no one, don't put that expectation on you that it needs to be perfect. You are going to practice together and it's going to get better. So if you like this video, please like this video <laughs> and subscribe. Um, I'll be posting, posting new videos and I wanted to be I wanted to hear what you want me to talk about. So if you've had sex already, um, what do you wish you had known before? 
And if you hadn't had sex, then what else do you want to know?